Good evening, friends. I hope you're all doing well. I'm also fine. Today, I'm going to show you how you can create or set up WordPress in AWS. So uh, I'm into my AWS EC2 console. So let's get started. First, I'm going to create a new uh, EC2 instance. So I'm going to launch a new instance. Uh, this is the new interface of creating a new EC2 instance. It's a single page, so it's not simplified. I will give it a name, web. Then I'm going to choose Amazon Linux one. This is the default one selected. I'm going to choose an EC2 instance type. So let's choose D3 medium. I'm going to choose a key pair. I have already created a key pair. If you haven't created a key pair, please create the key pair. I will use an existing EC2 uh, security group. In additional details, I'm going to choose an IAM EC2 role. This will allow me to connect the EC2 instance from this console. So it is uh, starting. Let's get started. This is starting now. You can go through the details. I will see all those things are there. This is the IP address. So this is the public IP. I'm going to copy this. We might need that later on. And let's go to connect button. And let's refresh the page. OK, so uh, here I'm going to connect to the TC2 instance from the uh, session manager. Uh, I have two articles uh, created previously. Using these two articles, I'm going to set up the uh, Apache web server with PHP, and then I'm going to set up uh, the MySQL server. So it's still not connected. Maybe I'll try it later again. Okay, so uh, let's go to the root privilege and then I'm going to copy the comments here. Comments are simple. I'm going to first run the update. So we can update minus y. So after that, I'm going to uh, run this command. This will set the default PHP version. In this case, I'm going to use PHP 7.4. Uh, when I'm going to run this command. All those comments are written in my blog. You can just copy paste and uh, make run, run those things. It's very easy. Then I'm going to install PHP and PHP related extensions. Then I'm going to install some more PHP related extensions. I will start the uh, Apache web server. I will enable the Apache web server. That means if I re reboot the system, my Apache server will start automatically. This is uh, required for let's encrypt. So I'm going to use let's encrypt to uh, install the SSL. So let's copy this and run here. Okay, then I'm going to copy this part. This will install a uh, start pod, which is a script that renews or issues the SSL certificate. Okay, these are relates to uh, issuing an SSL certificate. At this moment, I haven't set up the domain yet, but I can do that bit later. So let's wait for this stage. If I now refresh this page, I should be able to see the default screen of uh, 
Apache. Yeah, there is. Now I have installed Apache PHP and now I need one more thing. There is the MySQL server. So let's get started. Uh, this is the command to install the MySQL. Then I'm going to uh, start the MySQL server. Then I'm going to enable the MySQL server. Then I'm going to run the secure installation process. I don't have root password yet, so I will keep it blank. Now they are asking me whether I am going to set up a root password. Yes, I'm going to set up a new root password. This is, I will now provide my new root password here. Retype the password, okay. remove anonymous users, yes. Disallow root login remotely, yes. Remove test database, yes. Reload privileges, yes. That's it. Now I'm going to test whether my installation went fine. My installation went fine. I should be able to log into the MySQL server. I give the password. Yeah. I was able to connect to the MySQL server. Then I'm going to create a schema. Create schema WordPress. Now I'm going to exit it. So uh, now I'm going to go to a directory bad www. And uh, let's see, there are two directories here. So I'm going to double download the WordPress latest version. Let me clear my screen and run the wget command. wget uh, http is wordpress.org slash wordpress.c. So this will download, you see, this will download the latest WordPress file here. So let me unzip it. So the command is unzip latest .zip file. So this will unzip the zip file and extract the WordPress files. So if I see here, here is my WordPress. So uh, let's clear the screen. Now I'm going to, uh, the, I'm going to uh, create a virtual host here. So that, uh, or I, I can just remove the HTML directory and rename the WordPress to HTML so that I can view the WordPress setup here, WordPress default screen here. So let's do that. Rn, Rf, HTML, then MV, WordPress, to HTML. Okay, so let's see the file. So let's see the HTML. Okay, let's go one step up. Let's set up the file permissions here. So, so do chm minus r apache htm. This will set up all the file permission to the apache user. So, um, once this is done, now if I uh, refresh this page, I should be able to see the WordPress installation page. Here it is. Let's continue. Let's go. Database name is WordPress. Username is root. So they have just given a default password.
Okay. It seems that there is already a file here. So let me delete that file. And try again. Okay, that's done. So I give it a name. Sorry, I think this is the username as well. This is the password. This is the email address. Save login. That's it. So we have installed uh, WordPress into our AWS. We have installed PHP, Apache, and also MySQL Server. And then we have set up the fresh WordPress over there. So uh, probably my internet is kind of slow today. I'm not sure why this is not loaded. But yeah, this is the process of setting up WordPress into AWS. I'm not going to install SSL at this moment because that will make the video very long. I have many, many videos for installing WordPress, uh, installing SSL certificate in AWS EC2. So you can watch those videos. I'm sure it's available in my channel. And if you don't find any issues, you can put a comment into my videos. So I will link uh, these two blogs into my video description. You can click those and just copy paste around those comments. Okay, what is the issue here? So uh, that's it, guys. I hope this helps you. If if you like my uh, contents, please subscribe to my channel, and I will regularly give you interesting videos. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye.